Let's be honest, we've all likely run across that one person, either a family member or friend or classmate or whoever, who's chasing a dream with unrealistic expectations. Now sure, quite a few people have them when they're kids, and it's something you'll see kids talk about when they're growing up, role-playing with friends, and have zero knowledge of the grown-up world. You'll see them talk about how they want to be a doctor, or a pro athlete, or a firefighter, or a teacher, or an actor, or a musician, or a police officer, and the list goes on and on and on. Now, of course, by the time they grow up, many of them will have settled on a more realistic goal in life once reality sets in, and they won't likely be working a job as glamorous as they imagined as a kid. On the other hand, there are those that refuse to accept reality and think they can be making big bucks doing what they enjoy. They think that they will get a big, glamorous job despite the fact that reality isn't in their favor. Fueling these delusions is the simple fact that some people have far too much money to blow. Some people have rich parents, or clueless parents easily swayed by marketing who make sacrifices to hopefully ensure their kid can go on to be a successful person. There are plenty of people willing to make money off these rich parents, and they are those colleges that offer degrees in something that likely won't get you employed anywhere other than the local burger joint or as a cashier at Walmart. Now, if you have read any form of gaming journalism in the last 10 years, such as magazines or browsing websites, you probably know that there are already colleges popping up that offer game design degrees. Now, this doesn't just include those for-profit colleges like Full Sail that pop up in gaming magazines and on gaming websites, but even big, well-known universities left and right now offer game design programs. Let's be honest here, though. It's a waste of money. Game design degrees are essentially the new art school. Just like with art school, you're blowing away money on something that isn't actually going to get you employed. If you ever look at what big studios are looking for in employees, they're not looking for someone with a game design degree. They're looking for both experience with specific software and programming languages and degrees in different fields. To make matters worse, let's just say the whole game design degree doesn't work out. Let's just say that no studio, not even some mobile game studio or licensed game studio wants to hire you. Let's just say that you're stuck in your parents' basement or someone else's house with a MacBook and tons of debt from your student loans. Now sure, is there a possibility that you'll get employed in the gaming industry? Yes there is. Portal was created by some game design students from DigiPen who were hired away from Valve after making a similar game and the same thing happened with Portal 2. But you also have to keep in mind that Valve is notorious for also hiring mod developers who created mods that impressed them, and they did the same thing with Counter-Strike's developers. I don't think any of them had game design degrees because around 1999 and 2000, game design degrees weren't a thing. But those chances of yourself getting a job from, say, Valve are unlikely now. After all, you've just wasted a ton of money on a worthless degree that won't get you any job greater than a fry cook at McDonald's. However, there's another degree you can get if you still want to go to college and go into video game making. You can get a computer science degree, and that way if all else fails with no game industry job, you're still a lot more employable than if you got a game design degree. You'll also get knowledge of writing code for computers, which, like I said, is essential if you want to not only go into the game developing field, but numerous others as well. After all, video games made since the Atari 2600 era are programs. If you don't care about a degree and you just want to create an indie game, you can find numerous tutorials online for everything from engines such as Unity and Unreal to game making tools such as Game Maker or Multimedia Fusion to even programming languages. You can also find numerous free tools, engines, and programming languages as well. In fact, you don't even need to know programming to sell 1.4 million copies of a game on Steam. Undertale's developer didn't know any sort of programming, and yet his game became a smash hit among every kid on Steam and every YouTube and Twitch streamer and Let's Player. So here's the thing. 
Why waste money on a game design degree when you can learn how to make a game from Google or get a degree that will get you employed? I mean, whenever I hear about someone getting a game design degree, I cringe about as much as when I hear about losers with lifelong goals of being a game tester or a voice actor for anything beyond an Acer laptop produced YouTube comedy series that's flat out unfunny. That's all that needs to be said. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.